Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to make watermelon cake pops and this is my large food processor and some black jimmies that I'm going to use for seeds and that's a strawberry cake that I've crumbled up with a little bit of buttercream and put in the food processor to combine and then I'm just kneading in by hand those sprinkles. And those are going to look like the seeds as you see there and then I'm going to get an ice cream scoop, a small one, and I'm going to scoop out all of my cake pops so they're all similar in size. And I fill it up and then take off the top and scoop it onto a parchment lined baking pan. Then I go back with food safe gloves and I'm just rolling those out into perfect ball shapes and to smooth them out nice and good because if you don't smooth them they will show imperfections through the chocolate that you're dipping them in. And then I made a green melting chocolate and I just used those candy melts or you can buy specialty chocolates and use um, food coloring but you do have to use a candy food coloring or you can even get them pre-colored. And you're going to dip your sticks or straws into that chocolate and then back into the cake pop. I let them sit for about 10 minutes and then you see here after those 10 minutes I'm going back and dipping the entire cake pop into that green and just shaking and scraping a little bit on the side of that container just enough to get any of those extra drips off of because if you don't when it sits back down on your parchment it will puddle and it won't be a perfect ball and then I do end up having to hold the straw for a few seconds until it starts to dry. I also want to mention that if you choose to use the pre-colored candy melts, that is perfectly fine. Just follow the melting instructions on the back of the package. In fact, any brand that you use or product that you use, always follow the instructions. They're on there for a reason. But anyway, if you get the pre-colored ones, I tend to think that they're thicker. So you may want to add a little bit of oil or wax chips to thin it out a little bit. And then you saw there where I made like a lime green, a lighter green, um, same consistency chocolate. And then I'm going back with a piping bag, it's a tipless disposable type piping bag. And I'm just, it's kind of like zigzag lines. There's really no rhyme or reason to it because you want it to look natural. You don't want it to look perfect. You want each one to be a little bit different. Um, if it gets a little messy, don't worry about it. And you're going all around the sides of that. And you, I think I ended up doing around five of those little zigzag lines on each cake pop um, to make them look more like a watermelon. Once you get them all done, I do let them sit for about half an hour on that tray at room temperature, and there you see the finished product. And I did not bag these separately, but you can. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.